Of course TFC picks the week that I'm away to go and make moves. Lily was flying into Toronto on Tuesday and I was like, Fingers crossed, I'm not bringing my camera with me, so fingers crossed, TFC doesn't do anything this week. And literally, I land, open my phone, and the first thing I see is TFC's signed Raul Petretta. And the week keeps going on, and then we sign Sean Johnson while I'm still away. So, we're combining both of those two signings into one video. The off-season retooling continues for Toronto FC with the signings of two players, left back Raul Petretta and goalkeeper Sean Johnson. We'll start off first with Petretta. Petretta is a signing that I didn't think was possible for TFC this offseason. A guy under 30. Petretta is a 25 year old born in Germany, Italian, youth international left back who has spent all of his career except for the last year with Basel in the Swiss Super League starting from 2017. He's been a regular for Basel up until the end of the 2021-2022 season. He had Europa League and Champions League experience there. Just a guy who at a quality European league has had a regular shift, been a regular player, has gotten European experience through that. Following the 2021-2022 season, he signed with Kasim Pasa in the Turkish Super League where he's played the front half of this season. So a guy who has years of experience playing in decent but not top level European leagues. Always hard to judge these types of players coming into MLS because like they could be great, they could be eh. I mean, all the time you get guys coming from leagues like Hungary, Switzerland, etc., coming into MLS, and like sometimes they're just absolutely incredible, like so some of the better players in the league, and other times, you know, they're just kind of eh. And Sol Petretta is a guy who, like, we're not really going to fully know until we start seeing him play how exactly he's going to fare at Toronto FC. With his resume, though, he definitely has the tools to be a very strong player for Toronto FC in Major League Soccer. Probably not an elite level Major League Soccer player, but a very solid starter. And that's really all TFC needs in that left back position right now is a very solid starter. If Petretta can come in, game in, game out, be a guy who can start and make an impact game in, game out in Major League Soccer, Toronto FC will be more than happy with this signing. I think we as fans will be more than happy with this signing. And at 25, he's a guy who does have a bit of a future ahead of him. For once this offseason, we've made a signing of a guy who's not gonna be obsolete within three years. Petretta's a guy who can definitely be a useful player for Toronto FC for years to come. I think showing given that we signed him to a contract through 2025 with an option for 2026 so he could be around for quite a while and then also even with that he's the type of player that is easy to move throughout major league soccer these types of guys can get moved throughout major league soccer pretty easily so not only is he a player who's not going to be you know at the end of his career once his time at tfc ends he's a guy who when his time at tfc does come to an end we may actually be able to move either within mls or not for actually some sort of return rather than having them just retire and go into the abyss of football retirement. The other signing is the big one for Toronto FC. The one that was, you know, surprise, has been talked about for weeks now. Sean Johnson. New York City FC's goaltender for the past six years, Sean Johnson, is a big name in MLS. MLS Cup champion in 2021, MLS Cup MVP in 2021, speckled US national team appearances throughout his entire career dating back to the start of his MLS career in 2010. Johnson is a experienced goaltender in Major League Soccer and one of the higher rated goaltenders in the league. From 2010 to 2016, he was the goalkeeper for the Chicago Fire, having been drafted in the fourth round of the 2010 10 MLS entry draft following the 2016 season. Of course, he moved to New York City FC, where he's played since then. Now, Sean Johnson is the name as TFC fans were very familiar with, mostly because Alejandro Pozuelo made his life miserable whenever Toronto FC played New York City FC when Pozuelo was on Toronto. But being susceptible to Panenka's aside, Sean Johnson has been a very reliable goaltender in Major League Soccer for the past 12 years. He is another older player. He's 33 right now. By the end of May, he'll be 34. So a guy who, again, is nearing the end of his career coming to Toronto FC. Add that to the list of Vazquez, Hedges, Diamande, it's a long list right now. But also as a goaltender, they have a couple more years in there. Johnson, a guy who definitely has at least two or three more seasons as being a quality choice goalkeeper in Major League Soccer in him. I can see four years from now it starts to fade, but for right now, Johnson is not a bad choice. And this is obviously a Toronto FC team that's trying to win right now. But yeah, goalie check, 
left back check. The Toronto FC roster is filling out for this upcoming season now with just about a month remaining before the start of the 2023 MLS campaign. Really the only question marks now for the starting 11 in particular are the striker but we have three like 2A, 2B options so they can kind of rotate and a second center back. Matt Hedges is obviously the first center back and then like Shane O'Neill and Lucas McNaughton both showed at times last season that they could possibly be decent center backs in Major League Soccer, particularly maybe if they had a elite partner in the back line, like both of them together was not the greatest thing, but they both showed individually that they had flashes of being able to regularly play in Major League Soccer. So I think it would be nice to get another center back, but also I feel like those two players with a guy like Hedges would be a bit more solid than they were on their own last year. The depth still concerns me. I mean, like, yeah, we finally got a left back. We have one left back and one right back right now. So like, if an injury happens, we're kind of screwed. So I would like some depth, but like in Major League Soccer, depth is always an issue. What, what had to happen first was the starting 11 had to be sorted and right now we are very very close to having a sorted starting 11. Do I think that this is a starting 11 that can contend for MLS Cup? I think it is one or two pieces away. Notably a elite striker and a second like solid center back but besides that I think that this is very very close to a team that has a solid chance at looking at being a contender. So yeah, that is it for this video. As always if you'd like to hit like if you see more of my stuff hit subscribe follow me on Twitter link is down below in the description and I will see you next time.